for this Saturday's game against Albany, 7 o'clock, Boardwalk Hall. And joining us now in studio, I said uh, to Kendrick Ings, it's my girlfriend's son's favorite player. Kendrick Ings is in studio with us, and he joins us now on the Sports Bash Live on 97.3 ESPN. What's going on? What's going on? I love uh, hearing guys like your stories and then getting to see you play and then getting a chance to, like, see you in here. I mean, you have – you know, we had Dante Rumpf in here a couple of weeks ago. Now, that dude has a a tremendous story. Yeah. Right? Um, You know, and he had some notoriety from being on the Hard Knock show Mm -hmm. and been in some NFL camps. And and you were uh, in camps, too, with Tampa and stuff. And But a lot of times you go back – he played at Kentucky – yeah. So we played in the SEC. Okay. Your college uh, journey to get to pro football, not quite the same. No, nah, not at all. I mean, I haven't played I haven't played one down or one play. I haven't even seen a college football locker room at all. So, <laughs> stuff on TV. But Crazy. Yeah, it, it's crazy. I mean, my journey was uh, crazy. And it wasn't a, like the traditional route you go to try to play fo- professional football. But uh, I'm here. I made it, you know. How to, give, give us some insight on, did you play high school football? Okay. Like, how did you get from no, playing no college football to now getting paid to play football? Well, I, I've been playing football since I was six years old. So I played all through middle school, high school. Uh, so after high school, um, I had uh, problems with my academics. So I didn't meet the requirements to go D1. I was highly recruited, but uh, I was going to go to North Carolina. Um, okay. I went to a camp there. I was, I was playing DB at the time. Now you're from to, Miami. From Miami, Florida, yes, sir. I lived there, what, I'm 28. I lived there for 20 years. Stayed in Georgia about six years. And then temp, uh, traveled throughout the uh, other two years. So lived a couple places. Like, you know, for, I lived in um, Kansas City for like a season. Different teams I played for, that's where I traveled to and, and, mm-hmm. and lived there for. But um, from Miami, and I lived eight, um, in Georgia for like six years. But even in high school, I, I mean, I was reading that you tore your ACL in high school. I tore my ACL so the was- summer before my senior year. <sighs> Yeah, I did. Um, so I tore my um, my ACL the senior uh, uh, summer before my senior year playing flag football when I shouldn't have been playing. I had on spike cleats and I just hyperextended it, flipped over it, and then it, it went out of uh, out of socket. I, I walked home, and then I went and got my MRI. My knee swelled up so bad, I was like, man, I might have to get an MRI. So I told my coach, went to get MRI, told my ACL, sat out for four weeks. Uh, the swelling went down, I built my strength back up, then I put a brace on it, and I finished my high school uh, football career, and then I couldn't play basketball. Then by then I ran track, won a state, um, one state in track, I ran a ten five, and ran a 20- with the torn ACL. Yeah, everything's still torn. I haven't get my surgery yet. Yeah, one uh, ran a ten five, ran a twenty one six in um and a two hundred, and we, uh, I think we broke the record. Yeah, we broke the record that year in the four by one forty point six four. So uh, after that, that's when I tried to uh, okay back to the college. So. I'm trying to uh, – now I'm trying to get into a JUCO. Right. I thought I would have a four-hour scholarship to Northeast Mississippi, which I, I thought I, I signed my letter to, to send off to them and gave it to my head coach. For some reason, my papers never got there. I stopped getting calls from the coach, so I called him and asked him, hey, what, when does camp start? He had no idea I was coming. So I'm panicking now. So I'm just The JUCO th- coach. The JUCO coach okay. where North Carolina sent me. North Carolina sent me. To that JUCO, sent right. that JUCO to come get me out of high school. Gotcha. So they came to my high school, visited me, told me about everything. We know about your ACL. We're going to get your surgery done, all that stuff. So I'm like, cool. Sounds like a good deal. Signed it. They never got it. So I don't know what how the paperwork got messed up. I don't know if my coach forgot. My coach, ne- the next year, my coach wasn't there. So he had a new job. So maybe he just dropped everything and left. Who knows? But uh, after that, I just, I, I was, I'm in panic mode because now I don't know what, where, where I'm going to go. So now I'm just filling out applications, trying to just to get into school, just to try to, you know, try to pursue my college career. Right. Uh, I got accepted to Fort Valley State University. Where's reg- that? That's in North Fort Valley, Fort Valley, Georgia. Okay. Uh, being a regular student wasn't for me. I just, I had no push. Not for everybody. Yeah, it's not for everybody. So after that. It wasn't for me either, yeah. believe me. <laughs> after, but the crazy thing about it, after that, I still had contact with the JUCO coach. He said, yeah, come on, we'll give you a partial, partial, partial scholarship in the spring. You do good. Uh, we see you go run because by that time I already had my surgery. I got my surgery that year in 2009. Uh, so now he he's saying that hey, come here, we give you partial scholarship, you do good, then we give you a full scholarship for the fall. Went there. My thing what it there is that they wanted me to get. I have a heart murmur, and which they diagnosed me as a heart murmur. I had this, you couldn't play. I had this since I was five, but they wanted me to get all the tests done too. To clear me to play even more wild that you're in sitting here right now, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, uh, it depends on what type of heart murmur it is. If you have some heart murmurs are more severe than others, mine's. Yeah, I feel like it, it's minor. It, I've never had but any the fact problems that with they it. 
prevented you from yeah, playing because me, of it. Yeah, because they wanted me to take the test to get it done. So that was heartbreaking. So after that, I told my mom and my dad, listen, I'm trying the college life. I want to play football. So I'm going to do what I need to do to play football. I don't leave college to play professional football. If you, had, you could just go to workouts to go to play. Which, you know, a lot of people feel like, hey, if I, if I didn't get seen in college or if I wasn't playing at even a Gen 3 level. Yeah. You know, there yeah. are guys to Division 3 that go to these workouts. Exactly. Sometimes they're favors or yeah. you do somebody. But you, you don't know anybody. No, nah, I don't. So I'm I'm just – I'm at that time, I've had no receiver film because I played quarterback and corner in high school. So I put you that little – You begged Coach James for a couple – Snaps. I t- I'm, I'm, I'm actually listed as the third street quarterback. Is there some plays for you? Uh, well, we can't give yet. that out. Not yet. Not yet. Coach we, James, we, come on, man. The guy played some. We QB. might put a reverse uh, pass in there, here, there, but if it's needed. But you know, <laughs> we go stick to Hippert and uh, Warren. Now, real quick on guys. that in the arena game because I've been to the first couple of games. It's the first time I've been actually no live game a couple of years ago when they played at Boardwalk Hall when the Soul came down here. Yeah, but yeah. there. There's so much action, and it happens so fast. I don't know, like, is there trick plays like you see in the NFL where there's a lot of, like, you know, some uh, uh, hook and ladder yeah, stuff? Yeah, and you guys yeah. have them in the playbook? Yeah, we have reverse right. reverse passes. Like, when a, a, we'll see, like, a face screen, reverse now pass. Now the coach yeah, is have... listening, probably. <laughs> He's <laughs> got to put Ings in, get him in a little screen, yeah, we and got, throw. Yeah, we got a couple of those plays in. All definitely. right. Yeah, so yeah. you're playing quarterback at the time. Of course. So you know wide film, and mm-hmm. you end up where at a wide receiver? I went to, I, I seen a semi, I looked up semi pro teams. Played on the semi-pro team, the Atlanta City Chiefs. I played receiver and kick returner. Got a couple of film together. Put put like in five games. I probably had about seventeen to eighteen. Atlanta touchdowns. Chiefs. Atlanta City right. Chiefs. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, Atlanta. 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 Chiefs. <laughs> right. Georgia. Yo, Atlanta Georgia Chiefs. Yeah, right. yeah. It's a semi-pro team out there. You know, it's basically grown men playing optimist football. So I, I like five games. I had about ten to fifteen touchdowns. Sit, put that film together. Send it to all of the arena teams, the CFL teams, even some NFL teams. Uh, only one team got back at me was the Dodge City Law. That's in the CPIFL. That's a lower arena league. Okay. You get paid $200 a game. 200 a game. Yes. They called me. He's like, man, we could bring you in on a waiver. Wow. See if you make the team. And if you make the team, then cool. We go from there. Went up there, made the team. Did good. Had a great season. I put my film together from all those, from all those games. Sent it to every AFL team, every CFL team. Went to a CFL workout, BC Lions. Uh, I think that's the only workout I went to that year. And um, after I sent all my film out, Pittsburgh Power at the time called me from the AFL, mm-hmm. went there, finished the season out with them. They folded the next year, which way they were going to sign me. Crazy. So I'm like, yo, what's going on? Coach James was the head coach at that at that time, too. Okay. For the Pittsburgh Power. So I I have his, I got history with him already. So I'm like, dang, they done folded. So now I got um back to square one. So I was in Tampa at the time. And they had a workout. At any point, are you so frustrated? Like, I, I'm not going to, this is it. Never frustrated. I'm a man of faith. I feel like if you put in a work and you have faith, you, you can do anything. All right. Honestly, yeah. Well, I, this takes you, you know, Tampa Bay Storm. I mean, mm-hmm. that was at the time, you know, I've been down in Tampa. Yeah. They love that team down there. Yes. Yes. I love Tampa, man. I'm mad they folded. Yeah. yeah I, I was bet you are. About, I was thinking that about Channel spending, Side's a nice place to it go. Really is. It really is. I love Tampa. I thought about spending the rest of my career there if they didn't fold. For yeah. Real. If they're listening, yeah. I could go down there too. We'll <laughs> both go together. Yeah, that's God. No, that, that, that place really supported that team. It's big rumors time. of them coming back, so we'll see. That'd be cool because yeah. uh, there's some, you know, Gruden. Was uh, mm-hmm. you know he's now coaching uh, yeah, in the yeah, NFL. I mean, exactly. so it's been a great spot. And then here you go, you're in camp with the Lions. Yeah, um, after my like I said, after I went to the Tampa Bay Storm workout, they signed me. Balled out that year, almost got rookie of the year. Detroit call as they brought me in for a workout. We're in a four three three. They signed me that day. Unbelievable. And, and I played four I was, three three. I, yeah, I was only there for two. weeks. It was a great experience. The first time I was in ever in. The NFL now, who's on season. the Lions? Stafford, obviously. Um, yeah, Stafford, Megatron, uh, Megatron, Golden Tate. So this is like 2000, what, 15? This is 15. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is, that was his last year. Golden Tate was another receiver. Um, who Fuller. was in Philly this year? Yeah. And Jones. Matter of fact, Malachi Jones' brother was there. All right. He plays for the Albany. His, yeah. his brother was there, TJ Jones. Yeah. He, I know, uh, our sister station carries the Albany team. Yeah. And, uh, I see that he was like the rookie of the year last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. yeah he yeah, balls he, out. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So you're in camp with the Lions mm-hmm. practice squad. Nah, nah, no, not camp. No, practice it was week one. Yeah, yeah. I just week one. I would they called okay. me up week one, so I was there. So for this is week. after training camp. Yeah, after training camp, I was there week one, week one and week two. Then they released me after that. All right, and then a year later uh-huh. in December, you get signed with the Tampa. So you're back in Tampa. I'm back in Tampa because I went. I went back to play with the with the Storm. So when you're with the Storm, is there some sort of like 
uh, relate. I don't want to say relationship, but like, is there some like, hey, I'm on the storm, like Bucks. Hey, come yeah, take a look at us. Yeah, you know our, our president of the team is Derrick Brooks. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he he, he, he knows you. Yeah, he he's. I know him personally. He's he, a big wrestling fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's um he's well connected with the Bucks. So he said they if they call anybody over, hey, we got you got any guys. He'll put your name in there if you're performing well. So, yeah. So, you get that. I get that. Go to a workout. They didn't even sign me right away. Who's they, QB at the time there? Uh, uh, Winston. My boy Winston. Is he? Yeah. 2016? Yeah. Is his fourth year? I guess yeah. so. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yeah. Um, I think his second year. Right. Winston, this was 16. So yep. I think 2000, it was December 2016. Yeah, second, uh-huh. You're yeah. with Winston. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, is uh, Mike Evans there? Yep. Mike Man, Evans you're playing there. with Megatron, yeah. Mike Evans. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's Mike some... Evans was there. Humphrey. Uh, who else? 2016 with uh, I tell I, you what I tell you what though that's a hell of a journey yeah, to yeah, go from is. where you were yeah. to getting a chance to play next to some of these guys. Yeah. So then last year you're in Baltimore, mm-hmm. and that then you good. just beat those guys the other night. Yeah, that felt good. That felt good. <laughs> now, were you part of the scrap at the end of that game? Nah, well, no, no. Nah. You know those guys too well. Yeah, I know. We all know each other. Well, it's just a friendly fire. I don't think it gets, it gets yeah. too serious after that. So this season two and two, and it's kind of interesting because you're with Baltimore last year, and part of the premise of the league is they got guys changing teams so often. I mean, yeah. it's hard to kind of like find yeah. yourself a home, but it mm-hmm. seems like this team being an uh, a expansion team has blended quickly. And right off the bat, this wide receiving core seems yeah. to be kind of like manifesting its own personality. We are. We each week we are growing and getting to know each other more and getting better each week. We challenge ourselves every day to get better. So. I love this team. I feel like we have a the camaraderie is so good. We bonded real fast. So I like this to be a home for me for the rest of my NFL career, honestly. Yeah, well, we hope so because, you know, between you who I said, you know, the the, the, the young kids watching you, uh, just the playmaking ability. Uh, Lamarck is, I mean, he's, he's a beast. You look at him and you're thinking, man, this guy can play linebacker in yeah, the NFL, but he's exactly, a wide out. Exactly. He actually was tight in in the NFL. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he is a he's, he's a beast. He's a monster. I call him Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It's <laughs> been it's been really cool and a lot of fun. And and I said like before the first week, the crowd. I was I wasn't sure what to expect because yeah. quite frankly, there's been pro teams here and they haven't done so well. That was a pretty good crowd. It was a good crowd. Time. And then last week was a it was a solid crowd. Mm-hmm. But I tell the people I've been there both times and. I think if somebody goes once or twice, they're going to say, yeah, "I want to go up. again." Yeah, man, you have to come. Come oh. for just come for one game and, it's, and I bet you'll get addicted. It's fun. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it's, and it's crowd friendly. You know, you can't get that everywhere. Yeah, you could sit. The difference in this building, I feel, from arenas, mm-hmm. this isn't really like an arena. This is like something different. Yeah, it's different. It's a lot of history. Yeah. It's 1920. Somebody sitting in like row 15 mm-hmm. is almost on the field here. Definitely. Whereas if you're in row 15 in an arena, you don't have the same feel. Yeah, you're it's far, a lot you're, different. You're, 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 you're pretty much far away, but yeah. you're like right there. Like you got to pay attention because a ball can come at any time. You know your way face. around yet? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Pretty easy, yeah, right? it's not that hard. Now, do you walk the boards to work? No, uh, well. You're staying at where, Ocean? Uh-uh. I'm staying, we're staying at Epsinkin. What okay. is it called? That's Epsinkin. Right? Yeah, that's where I stay. All right, so you're yeah. out in, right off the so island. So it's like 15, so you know how like to get 15 there. minutes away, yeah. yeah. Because it can be but I, I walk the broad work a lot, though. Yeah. I, me and my girl was here last week. We was on the beach. Was vibing, then I went to treat. I mean, you could end up in a lot worse places. Yeah. Albany. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Columbus. <laughs> True, true. Uh, Atlanta City is a great city. I'm yeah. glad I made the choice. Well, we're happy here. to have you, and it's been a fun partnership so far. We have the game coming up this Saturday night. Uh, 7 o'clock is yeah. the kickoff. Kendrick Ings, uh, you can check them out. And then again next week, 3.30. Mm-hmm. That's a better start time for me. Yeah. I'm falling it, asleep it, by 10 <laughs> these days. I like the early games, You too. like that 3.30? I do, I do. Yeah. I do. Well, it's good to meet you. Great story, man. Yeah, man. I and I told me. Dante I liked his hoodie. Yeah. He still hasn't got me one. We get you one. He's a bastard, man. <laughs> I said, come on, man. Get me that hoodie. We'll get you one. We'll yeah. get you one. Nah, it's, it's great to meet you. Kendrick Ings and the Blackjacks are back this Saturday night, 7 o'clock. Uh, by the way, Dante's story, tremendous. Your story, tremendous. It's great to meet guys who have this passion yeah. to continue to do it. Because a lot of people, will, the they would tap out. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I give you a lot of credit. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming in. Probably Kendrick Ings, everybody. Go check him out. Yo. Saturday at Boardwalk Hall. Support. Number 17. We are your team. That's Don't right. Go out. Go show out this weekend. Don't miss out. A lot of fun. Those games are a lot of fun. Uh, by the way, so far uh, this year, 25 catches, 268 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, and even more fun is watching them play the kicks off the nets. Crazy returns. Uh, AFL's Playmaker of the Year 2017. Kendrick Gangs has been our guest here in studio from the Atlantic City Blackjack.